Hey everyone, welcome to our Total Body Reset today. My name is Skylar Ramirez. Let's get up. We are working on the brain and gut today. So if you've been doing a lot of brain work, sitting, maybe your digestion has slowed down, let's get the brain in check and get our digestion going too. Take your feet out to about the width of your hip bones. It could even be just a little wider than the hips. Let's make sure that the toes are forward. As we inhale, we're extending the arms up and overhead with the thumbs facing back. You can bend your elbows if you're already noticing some tightness in your shoulders. Straighten those arms as much as the shoulders permit. Press the thumbs back behind you and start to feel that your ribs are lifting up, maybe even flip the hips back so that when the ribs open, we are stretching the intestinal tract. Let's take a big breath in and look up. Exhale like a cross-country skier. Make this, bring the hands down, hands down and push those hands back behind you. Inhaling, bringing the arms up and overhead. On the next exhale, come down and push the hands out beside you. We're gonna do at least three more of those. Inhaling, arms come up overhead. Exhale, both hands down. Pressing the hands down towards the floor with the arms beside you. Big breath in, inhale, reach it up. This is just a quick energy booster, quick spot aligner. Exhale down. Inhale, take it up. From here, take the feet out wide and turn the toes out. Let's bring the palms forward. Exhale, pull the elbows in and bend the knees. Let's see that those knees are going in the same direction as our toes. We don't want those knees to fall in or it could be twerking the kneecaps. Inhale, reach it up. Nice big breath in, five-pointed star. Exhale, pull it down, deep in that squat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring it down. If you're wearing dress pants, you might want to pull the pants up into the crease of the thigh so you can get a little more mobility. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bring it down. Let's hold the hands on the thighs. From here, push your left hip back and then press your left shoulder forward and in. So left hip back, left shoulder in. Take the left hand on the inside of the left thigh. Try straightening the arm so that you're lifting and opening underneath the traps. If you ever get a little pinch in your shoulder blade, or maybe it's between your shoulders, it kind of digs under those shoulder bones, we're trying to separate some connecting tissues and fascia with this stretch to prevent those stinging sensations in the back. Bring it up to center. From here, push your right hip back. Drop the right shoulder forward and then push your right hand into your right thigh. Pressing strong here, letting the shoulder come up. Pull the shoulder forward, so we're separating again the skin, the connecting tissues behind your shoulder, connecting to the ribs and connecting to the spine. When you're ready, bring it to center. Straighten both hands, prop up your throat, open up the chin, open up the intestine, stretch the belly, big inhale, Exhale, walk the feet in, walk the hands down towards the shins, maybe stay here, or let your hands come all the way down. They might even touch the floor. So touching the floor is always an option if it feels like there's not a strain in reaching for the floor. The main thing here is to feel a nice long stretch from your low back up to your shoulder blades, and then maybe even under the armpits as you hang, on, hang those arms forward. Let's try a big exhale. Bend the knees, walk the hands to the thighs, neutral spine. Take the hands back, low back strengthener. Inhale, reach it up overhead. Make sure the feet or at least are at least the width of the pelvis bones. They could be a little bit wider, but not too much wider. Let's inhale both arms straight up overhead, thumbs go back. Step your left foot back, a casual stride. Bend the right knee. Inhale, reach up and exaggerate the lift in your chest. From here, let's swan dive. Both hands come onto that right thigh. Take your left hand and turn the fingers towards the left. Let's extend our right arm, circle it around one time, just one big circle, twisting towards the right. Maybe reaching back with your right hand as if you're trying to shake someone's hand behind you. Now imagine somebody's pushing on the palm of your hand, pressing just a little more to open. Let's straighten both legs, right and left leg straight. 
twisting with the split stance, opening up your low back, your hips, and even the connections from your pelvis all the way up into the chest. Stay here or slide that left hand past the knee joint, just below the knee. You want that hand to be hopefully on a leg bone, avoiding any pressure on your knee. Maybe reach straight up with that arm. If it hurts at all, bend the elbow. Big inhale, open up. Exhale, bend the front knee. Bring both hands around to that front leg nice and slow. From here, we'll straighten our left leg and lift the right toe. From here, with your left leg straight, as you push back, you could bend that back knee to get a little bigger stretch on the hamstring, but we're straightening that left leg so we're able to work the hamstring and Achilles on both legs. Keep pushing your tailbone back and lengthen the heart out over your knee and your shin. From here, let's come forward, bend that front knee, back leg is straight. Again, stretch the Achilles, the calves, inhale, bring it up, nice big breath in. Let's step forward, press the thumbs back, exhale, cross country ski. Get it low. Three more. Inhale, bring it up. Big back stretch. Exhale. Again. Again. One more. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Take the arms overhead. This time we're stepping our right foot back, bending the left knee. Arms are up overhead. Exhale. Take the hands down. Both hands are on the left thigh, supporting the spine. Let's rotate the right fingertips towards the left. Drop that right shoulder just a little bit. Extend the left arm forward, one big circle. The back of our hand is resting at the low back, knuckles to the low back. Keep bending the left knee. Push into the inside blades of your feet and press back hard into the right heel. Inhale, open up the left shoulder. Extend that arm up from the shoulder joint. So you're twisting towards the left, left knee is bent, left arm is extended outside the armpit and shoulder joint. Let's imagine someone pushing on the hand, just encouraging a little more openness. Keep pressing into the inner blades of the feet. Inhale into the upper left lung. Exhale, slowly bring it to center. Again, back leg is straight. From here, straightening the front leg, lifting our toe and shifting forward for the stretch. So you could always walk your hands down to the leg or towards the floor. And of course, you could bend that standing leg a little bit. Bending the leg is going to take tension out of your hamstring and back. But of course, you can keep the legs straight, both legs straight. So we get that stretch in both hamstrings. When you're ready, flatten the front foot and bend the knee. Inhale, bring the arms up. Nice big breath. Exhale, let the arms come down. Let's step with our feet. Toes forward and hips with distance. From here, inhaling both arms overhead, lace the fingers together, invert the palms, and push the arms overhead. As big of a stretch as possible, lengthwise through the spine, helping with digestion, helping with posture. From here, push over into your right foot and lean over to the left side. Now, here's a little trick. We are keeping the left leg completely straight. Try lifting your left heel without bending the left knee. It's going to open and really exaggerate the stretch on the right side of your body, opening the liver, healthy detoxification of blood. Drop both feet, bring it to center, press into the outer left edge of your foot, Lean over to the right, hold it there. Inhale, open from the armpit. Keep the right leg straight. It might almost be locked out, but we wanna keep the joint soft. When you're ready, lift the right heel. That's gonna lift the hip. Lean a little more. You're probably gonna feel a big stretch on the side of the body. Now, sometimes it's uncomfortable if there's any like old food or undigested matter stuck there. It can feel a little tight. Inhale one more time. Exhale, bring it to center. From here, inhale, reach up. 
separate the hands, shift forward and lift your heels. Let's work a little bit on the center of gravity. We can always turn the palms back. Pinky fingers are facing in while we reach to the ceiling and press our hands behind us. The more we lift the heels, the more we lift the fingers, the more we wanna push the hips forward and lift the ribs, pressing the palms back, creating a big back bend. Exhale, bring it to center, bring the hands together or bring them at the hips for balance. From here, let's shift our weight into the left foot. We're bending our right knee just a little bit, feeling that the hips are level. With the hips level, pull the right toe up and now pull up the right knee, working on balance and strength on that inner hip. Option to extend the opposite arm, right knee lift, left arm extension, or even up to the sky. Exhale, slowly take it down. Let's build on this. Shift into the right foot and bend the left knee. Hips are level, parallel to the floor. Hands can stay at the heart. There's an acupressure point here that could create better balance, or it can go at the hips. Let's lift our left toe. Lift the left knee as high as possible. Extend through the opposite arm, right arm straight ahead, or lift it up. Usually it's gonna be a little more challenging to balance when the limbs are up high in the air. One more big breath, get that knee up. Exhale, slowly let it down. All right, building on this. We did this last week. Let's lift, start with a right knee bend. Let's lift our right knee and extend the left arm. Option to take it up and overhead. We're taking this into a twist. Twist it over to the right. Maybe press your, your right knee in towards your left knee. So it's a little bit of an internal rotation with the leg and then twist at the waist, reaching across. Bring it to center and take it down. Opposite side, bend the left knee. Left knee lift, right arm extension. Hold it here, this is step one. Step two is to sweep it across. Maybe press the knee over just an inch or two. The internal press or the abduction is usually a lot less than an external or abduction. So reach across, press that knee in, and now bring it to center and step. Adding on to this one more time, this is an extension of what our bodies practiced last week. Let's lift the right knee and extend the left arm. From here, kick the leg out. Notice when you kick, the leg might lower a little bit. It could be because of a tight hamstring, but get that knee up, press the heel out, and let's add in that twist. Maybe even take both arms out so that your right hand is behind you shaking hands, left hand shaking hands, rock it, kick, press it up, bring it to center and relax. Left knee lift, right arm extension, step one. Left hand can go wherever we have the best feeling of balance. Extend that leg, notice if it starts to cause your other leg to bend, notice if you're leaning forward or back, Act surprised, one, two, three, stay nice and tall, kick it up, take it into the twist, up a little higher, three, two, one, bring it around and relax. Let's shake everything off. We are at the halfway point. Let's get into some deeper twisting here. From here, taking your feet out wide, turn your right toe off to the side, keep the left toe forward. We're bending that right knee and pressing our tailbone back towards the left heel. So although this is a side stretch, there is a deep element of a twist in order to keep the spine in alignment. There are muscles around the hips that hook up into the low back that can get very tight when we have to sit a lot. So although we look like we're flat, like we could be between two planes of glass, we are actually focusing on a deep twist here. This is a triangle stretch, keeping a bend in our right knee first. Let's extend the right arm out and reach your right armpit over your thigh. We have been practicing this building core strength. Take the left hand to the low back. This is going to assist the twist more than the strength. We're lowering our right hand either onto the thigh, propping up the spine, 
while we pull that left shoulder back, or we can lower the hand away from the knee joint, no pressure on the knee, lower the hand onto the top part of the shin, just below the knee joint, straightening out that right arm so that we prop up our spine, just like a kickstand on a bicycle, rolling that left shoulder back, caressing also the left hip back. Imagine you're trying to rotate or pull open the left hip while the left shoulder goes back and your right shoulder is pressing forward, aligning your right armpit over the right thigh. We can look up so that we have this twist from the tailbone through the hips, through the stomach, working on digestion, all the way up through the neck and the head. Now extending that left arm straight up to the sky. Let's straighten the right leg and you can hold it here or extra core challenge. Open the right hand so the palm is facing out away from your leg. Press the knuckles of the hand into the leg to create even more of a dynamic twist. Press into the outer blade of your foot. When you're ready, Push off that leg, bend the right knee, and slowly bring it to center. Let's lower both hands to the hips, pivot the right toe forward, and the left toe out, bending the left knee. So already notice your body is angled. It's not in a twist yet. When we get into the stretch, we're going to twist a little more, and we're trying not to move the supporting left leg. Let's extend the left arm out, keeping a little bend in the left knee. Shift the hips back. So really feel you're pressing pretty aggressively, pressing into that back right hip. Tailbone is angled to the back right heel. We're extending the armpit over the thigh. Maybe even press your right shoulder down towards your right hip. Let's lower our hand onto the thigh. Now, if the hand is curious to travel below the knee, we most certainly can stay there as well, but we want to keep the spine long. So if you feel that you're doing a side bend, if you're doing a side bend, one of two things is gonna happen. Either we're going to strengthen the core and we're going to peel up and out of this, engage your obliques, or maybe it's not a case of strength. Maybe it's just, proportion of arms to the legs. In that case, bring the hand back up away from the knee onto the thigh so that we can keep that neutral spine with oblique engagement. Now, no matter where you are with this, we're tucking that right hand into the low back. This way we can really isolate that stretch in your thoracic spine. Drawing the right shoulder back, press the left shoulder forward, maybe even begin to straighten that left leg a little more. Option to extend the top right arm away from the back, straight up to the sky. Finally, the icing on the cake, turning to look up towards the ceiling. So we have that beautiful twist with straight, dynamic tension and mobility, all the way from the tailbone, all the way up through the crown of the head. Take in a big breath here, open up. Exhale, let's bend the left knee, lower the top arm, slowly come up. From here, bringing the hands onto the hips, walk the feet in so that the toes are touching and the heels have a little bit of space between them. All right, from a more neutral position, let's get into a deeper twist. Hips are stable. Again, we are working on digestion, on gut. You might get a little warm when we do this one. From here, inhaling arms up, big breath in, press the palms together, and pull the thumbs to the center of the chest. It is so important to keep the thumbs right here at the chest so that we can get a true spinal twist without any sort of a false stretch from our rotator cuff and shoulders. With the thumbs glued to the chest, start to bend the knees, flip the hips back, and lower down. So now we have the hamstring muscle shortened, hopefully easier to stabilize your low back. 
push your right hip back and now twist towards the left. So as we're pushing that right hip back, we're dropping that right shoulder into the midline. Thumbs are glued to the middle of the body. Right hip back, right shoulder twisting forward. Maybe coming down a little more. Now that we've isolated that deep twist in the gut, slide your thumbs to your left armpit crease. Now pull that left shoulder back a little more and press the right shoulder forward. So now we might really feel that dissection of the stretch here. These deep twisting postures are what our body needs for ADLs, activities for daily living, unloading the dishwasher, turning to check our blind spot, rotating laundry, getting you know groceries out the trunk of the car, all those things, ADLs, activities for daily living. From here, we can shift forward and lift the heels. These are all movements our body has already practiced. We're just putting it all together. We've practiced balance, hinging, rotating from the waist, shoulder mobility. When you're ready, flatten the feet, bring it to center, then straighten the legs, push the hips back, extend the hands, airplane extension, big inhale, exhale, hands to the thighs or shins, hang loose. So coming from that really dynamic and strong movement with mobility, we just want to have a nice passive stretch to cool the body off. Try at least two big exhales. Inhale, release. When you're ready, bend the knees, walk the hands to the shins, walk the hands to the thighs. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Nice big breath in. Let's do the other side. So toes are touching. Check in with the foundation in the feet. All the strength begins in the footing, separating the heels just a tiny bit. We inhale the arms up. Exhale, palm press, thumbs into the center of the chest, gluing the thumbs in so that we really get this stretch, making it true and isolated to the spine, not the shoulders. Bending our knees, lift the hips back, push the hips back and begin that low descent, squatting down. Push your left hip back and now twist towards the right. Left hip back, countered by a stretch towards the right. Now let's slide the hands to the right armpit. Pull the right shoulder back. Left hip is still pressing back. Left shoulder presses forward, holding it there in this deep, deep twist. It can feel very different from left to right. You've heard me say that before. We are deeply compressing the liver here and stretching through your intestines. Shift forward, lift the heels, putting it all together. Once we lift the heels, maybe we come down a little more. Maybe we twist a little more. We can look over the shoulder. This requires so much strength, stability, mobility, awareness and focus and balance. Big inhale, exhale, bring it to center, drop the heels, hands to the thighs, straighten the legs, let your body fall forward and pull off, stretching along the sides of the spine, the parts of the back that connect into your sciatic nerve. Let all those places feel just a little bit of traction. Exhale from the throat. One more. Walk the hands up, shins to thighs. Come all the way up to standing. Big inhale, reach it up. And then exhale, relax down. All right, so our number one most powerful tool that we have for taking care of our bodies when it comes to gut health, when it comes to overall energy, feeling alert, and also low back and spine support. Our number one tool is proper breathing. Let's take our last few minutes to work on proper breathing. Put one hand on your heart or the center of the chest and place the other hand low on your stomach. So it can be around your belly button, or waistline. As we inhale, 
we want to feel the chest is very still and the stomach pushes out, inhaling, pushing the stomach out. So hopefully the lower part of your lungs are expanding and that creates the illusion of your stomach getting larger. Really, it's not the stomach that we breathe into. It's the lowest part of the lungs. Exhale, pull the stomach muscles in, perhaps retraining a pattern of movement in the body for that more rewarding diaphragmatic breath. Inhale, push the stomach out. Exhale, press it in. Inhale into your nose. Exhale like you're fogging a mirror. Give a little bit more oomph, a little empowerment to that breath. Inhale in through the nose, down into the lungs. Exhale, pull the stomach in. Let's do at least two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now same technique. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale from the throat as if we're fogging a mirror, but let's change the ratio with mindfulness. So if we're feeling stressed out, this is a technique we can try to calm ourselves. Longer, slower exhales increase our probability of tapping into a relaxation response. Let's experiment with it with just three breaths. Hands to the heart, hands to the belly. Inhale in through the nose, drop the breath down low. And now exhale really slow. Quick inhale, exhale slow. Keep it airy, keep it breathy, hollow out the back of the throat. Listen for the quality of the breath. One more, inhale in through your nose. Exhale slow. Now just relax, breathe easy. In closing our total body reset today, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, take it back. Let's just enjoy a little bit of natural rhythm with the breath. Inhale, reach. Choreographing any movement with your breath is one of the quickest ways to recalibrate your nervous system. And when we recalibrate that nervous system, there is the potential to release all sorts of tension in your body so that you can move through the day feeling stronger, more balanced, more centered physically and emotionally. Thank you for joining me today, everyone, for our Total Body Reset. That's the reset button. Y'all have a fantastic day.